In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between a reference and standalone playlist. So I send some of these clips to a sorter, and I save that sorter, and this is the same with an organizer. I have the option at the bottom here to save this as a reference or a standalone. Now the difference here is pretty big, so I want to discuss that difference. So if I save this as a reference, the game package that I got these clips from, so the game that's currently in the background, has to be accessible on my hard drive for this sorter to work. So if I delete this game, or this game's on a hard drive and I unplug that external hard drive, or I give this sorter to another coach who does not have this game on their computer, this sorter is not going to work. If I save it as a standalone, it's going to copy the clips from that game package and turn this sorter into its own package. So I can delete the game, I can unplug my external hard drive, um, I can give it to a coach who does not have this game, and the sorter is always going to work. And as I said, it's the same with an organizer as well. So, what are the pros and cons then of saving between a standalone and a reference? The first is the file size. So if I look at the file size of the standalone playlist, for about 10 clips, I've got an 81.4 megabyte sized playlist. For the same exact 10 clips, for a reference, it's only 33 kilobytes. And that's because the video is not actually in this package. It's in the original game package. It's just using this reference sorter as a window into that original game package. Whereas I said that video has now been copied into the standalone playlist and it's become its own package. Another downside for a standalone playlist is that I can't extend the length of clips. So if I come up here to the edit clip button, you'll see here that this blue bar is at the very end. Whereas with a reference playlist, if I go to the same clip and press the same edit length button, I can see I can still extend this video. And again, that's because it's referencing other video and not the video that's in the package. A positive for a standalone playlist, however, is when you do have a standalone playlist, you can drag and drop external video into that playlist. So here I've got this MP4 that's on my desktop. I can drag and drop this into my sorter. Again, same with an organizer. I cannot do that with a reference sorter or a reference playlist in general, only with a standalone. Now when it comes to sharing clips from one playlist to another, that's also important how these playlists are saved. So I've got this handy um, one pager here of where you can send clips from one type to another. So I can send clips from a standalone to a standalone, a reference to a reference, a reference to a standalone, but not a standalone to a reference. So you've also got to keep that in mind that if you are sharing clips from playlist to playlist among your coaching staff, you have got to make sure that you're saving your playlist in a way that you can actually share those clips. The last thing I want to discuss is what if you have a reference playlist and you're working on it, you're extending the length, you're adding slides, um, you're adding drawings, things like that, and you now want to save that playlist as a standalone before you present it to the team, just for a little bit of safety, or you want to share it to a coach who does not have the game package. Well, one, uh, one uh, problem you'll run into is if you go File, Save, it's just going to keep saving it as a reference. So if you want to save this as a standalone, what you need to do is go to File, hold down the Option key on your keyboard, Duplicate here will turn into Save As, click Save As, and now you can save it as a standalone. Now you can overwrite the original package if you want, or you can call this, you know, this is going to be your meeting playlist. So now you've got the standalone version of that same playlist, as well as keeping the reference version of the same clips.